Okay, this is the fourth part in this tutorial series and it should be fairly obvious uh, by now how we can extend our platform game. We can simply add some more platforms for the character to jump between. So I'm just going to change to a top-down view, pressing number 7 on my keyboard, um, on my numbers keypad, um, and then I'm going to add in some more objects to represent um, some platforms in our game. Okay, so I'm just going to add some more um, flat planes, like so, that the player can jump between. Um, what's really important is that we always have to set this property, uh, or sorry, add a property to each of these platforms called ground. So I've made this object and I'm going to add a new property, a game property to it, called ground. And I need to do that for each platform that I add to the game. Okay, so now that I've made this um, second platform, I should be able to play my game and jump from one platform to the other, like so, as long as it's close enough. Okay, so the character lands on that platform and can jump back to the original one, like so. Okay, so that's a simple way of making a very basic platform type game. Of course, what we really need is some kind of goal, somewhere for the character to go to, and perhaps some objects and things to pick up along the way. And that's something we can look at in future tutorials. Okay, so that's the end of that part.